What's on for Hornet TV tonight? Great migration. This sounds interesting. to witness is one of the only migrations of its kind in the whole new northern parts of the East Gate United States. This is known as the Great Hornet Migration. After a loud beeping sound, they all seem to move instantaneously, like the Canuck salmon moving upstream, even taking difficult routes to get to their destination. We can see here the herd is actually moving upward, defying gravity to get to their destination. We can witness this several times today but it all miraculously ends at 3.15 each day, only to begin again uh, precisely at 8 a.m. the next day. These two individuals are engaged in some sort of ritual to attract members of the opposite gender. Hey man, that's not cool. <laughs> they are much too close in proximity, and in the hornet habits, this is not socially acceptable. Perhaps they should try some other techniques of the bird of paradise who try to impress the female bird from a distance by fluffing their feathers or doing a little dance. In most migrations, one must not attract too much attention hey, because committing hey. an offense like inappropriate language can result in being reprimanded by adult hornets. But come with me. If you watch closely, here's some rare footage of one hornet reprimanding another for offensive language. Man, he gets way too much homework. This is a bunch of Bro, you need to calm down. Yeah, everyone's getting homework. You gotta relax. Until next time, thank you for joining us in witnessing one of the great wonders of the world, the Great Hornet Migration. Wow, that makes me want to migrate to another channel. Let's see what else is on Hornet TV. Thanks, okay. I'm currently live at the assembly, awaiting the third estate to arrive. Throw the light charges. I'm attorney Peter Francis Geraci. If you're... means coming to school on time and having your homework prepared. Going to class on time to get good grades. Being accountable is... <laughs> um, the teacher that holds me most accountable I think is Mr. Mod. Because he's my band teacher and he's also one of my tutors here. So he's like one of the guys that sets me straight most of the time. And if I do mess up, he's like one of the guys who like tells me I did it wrong. <laughs> I think that Ms. Nakovic holds me most accountable because the way that she carries herself around the classroom, she just wants the best out of all of her students and she rewards you for doing your homework. Coach Ike. Because uh, Coach always makes me use hand sanitizer so I don't get them dirty. So. Uh, for me, respect means uh, um, knowing the person's boundaries and not pushing them too much, uh, being nice to each other, and yeah. Uh, I mean, like, they try to correct you when you're being politically incorrect. Uh, by showing common courtesy amongst your peers and the staff, and uh, by doing your work and not talking to the teacher's talking. Um, I would say disrespectful hallway behavior is not really caring if you're getting there on time, just joshing people around, pushing them about, and 
just not doing what you're supposed to do. Um, pretty much being obnoxious, like yelling to your friends, or like making out with someone in the hallway, like just get to class, do it fast. Rain to every single person you see. Uh, not standing in the middle of the hallway. Uh, you gotta stay on the right side of the road. Walk fast and get to class on time and don't swear. Uh, not really, because I hear people swearing in the hallways all the time, and it kind of gets annoying. I mean, if you want to swear, just swear it, do it somewhere else, but not in the hallways at the same time, because people can hear you. And plus, it gets really on my nerves when people start doing it. You should greet them with a hello, and then keep walking, and if they talk to you, treat them respectfully. Uh, being engaged at Hinsdale South, to me, means to uh, try new sports and new clubs, and that's how you meet new friends and also fulfill your commitment to those clubs and sports. Mr. Fetty, because he always has a lot of hands-on materials and things planned for us, and his lesson plans are always very tight and we're able to do a lot of things. Mr. Moretti, he's my world studies teacher. He, I think he keeps me most engaged in class because he can relate to the students well and he I don't know, he's not a boring teacher who just straight out says facts or whatever, take notes. He, he's funny sometimes, at least he thinks he's funny. Well, you know, I think that's important for a teacher to have. So you don't miss anything? You should be in class on time because, first off, you get a detention if you're late three times. And nobody wants to serve a detention. Like, all kids hate it, all students hate it. So, it's like, just be class on time, you know, just get, just go there, do what you gotta do, and then just leave, because, I mean, <laughs> we only hit to three, and then we just go home. For these 12 designers, Project Runway is the chance of a lifetime. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Project Runway at Hinsdale South where some of the finest designers and cloth makers have come to show off their elegant and unique clothing. Hello designers, your inspiration today will be making Hornet wear more wearable. Each of you will be given a piece of Hornet spirit wear and your job is to make it more fashion forward, while of course staying within the school limits of being appropriate. You will have one hour. Begin! Time is up! Time for our models to show what the designers have been up to. All these shirts are way too bad. I would wear a Hornet Hero shirt if it looked more like this. nice, but it violates two parts of the dress code. Your midriff cannot be showing at all times, and your straps have to be at least two inches thick. I'm sorry, Designer One, you're out. I think that the students need to know how to wear their horny gear better. If they get their hat right and their pants on, they'll look great. I agree the way 
way you wear your pants and accessorize can completely change an outfit. It looks good, but designer 2, you violated the dress code also. You have to make sure you pull your pants up and no hats are allowed on school grounds. Content written on your shirt must be appropriate. Would you wear that in front of your grandma? Would you wear it to an interview? Well, then why would you wear it at school? Designer 2, you are out. Work as hard as I can, but this is all I got. I wanted to show you how to really rock the Hornet gear. Here's Victor E. Hornet wearing Hornet Love. Well, as everyone is obviously aware, I'm not a big fan of fashion. Let's see what else is on. In the arms of... There's only one, Bob Roy! Um, when boys say I have their pants, because it's just so ugly. I'd have to say saggy, just because it looks terrible. The dress code violation that grinds my gears is when you got your pants hanging low. It's not... Anything anyone wants to see. When you sag your pants, because I've tried it before and it doesn't look right and it's uncomfortable. So uh, I keep it on my waist. The sagging of the pants is very classless. wrong with them in the first place. Jane, that's truly frightening. How's the staff handling this? We have footage here of a zombie arriving late to class. Ready to learn. 
Oh my god, that was scary. Wow, zombies really do scare me. I gotta see what else is on. That's gonna give me nightmares. Peter Francis Take your headphones off so you don't miss what's going on and you don't miss an important test date or important notes that you need to get down. I think that you should take off your headphones because the teachers are here doing their job and I don't think that you need background music when they're trying to teach so just take them out and listen to the lesson. It's only 50 minutes and in the hallway you can listen to it as much as you want. It's important to take your headphones off because like you might miss something important like or the homework that you got to do so I mean you don't want to be behind in class so you might want to catch up and stuff. <laughs> I feel like cyberbullying is very disrespectful. It's just the same form as just regular bullying. It's equivalent to pushing somebody or shoving somebody. It's, a, it's the same thing, just you're just behind a computer. Cyberbullying is kind of rude. I don't see why people really do it. If you're not going to say it in person, don't say it online. Um, it's dumb because you're not going to even know the person in 20 years, so what's the point of putting down their social or self-esteem or whatever? And what's the point of getting yourself in trouble? Hey, we almost never eat in the kitchen. That's where we kill our food. <laughs> I remember this one time, we caught a possum, made a big mess in the kitchen. <laughs> you wouldn't want to eat in there. Mm -hmm. The kitchen is no place for eating. No, sir. This here is perfect good squirrel and I am not throwing it in the trash. Well, this squirrel is going back to the cafeteria right now. Thank you very much. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the class. Okay, today we're going to be studying for the fun. Seriously, what is that? This here is a barman. Barman? That's definitely not on improved. What? Come on. Seriously? Call it to myself. And it sure beats the Snickers. Well, you shouldn't have put your hands in the classroom. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, nothing. You, you ain't seen nothing, man. I'm just engaged in the lecture. You definitely can't be eating rabbits, either. You know, yes, they're right. You gotta be more accountable. Thank you. And, uh, engage. Man, you're going crazy using them their big words. Sound like you're speaking French. I ain't speaking no French or nothing. I learned those words in Hornet Nation. And if you don't stop making fun of me, you're going to have to pardon my French. I love that Swan people. That's a great show. So, Hinzel South, I hope you enjoyed this, this introductory video today. We're looking forward to a great school year this year. Um, we've been talking about the idea of accountability, respect, and engagement so much over the last couple of years, and we truly do believe it's having a big, big impact on what we're doing here at Hinzel South, and it's all because of the work that you do as students every single day. So as we kick off this 2013-2014 school year, we hope you have a great school year, but most importantly, we hope you act with accountability, respect, and engagement every single day of this great school year. Have fun.
Alright, right, whenever you're good. Man, he gives way too much homework. This is a bunch of bull. Dude, you need to calm down. Yeah, I'm just getting homework. No, this is my line. <laughs>